Hi guys, today I'll show you how you can hack your scooter. The first thing we need to do is check the production date. In order to check the production date of the scooter, you must look on the right side of the scooter on the bottom, uh, near the rear wheel. Um, if it shows 12 slash 2021 or newer, this is for Pro 2 scooters, then you have the new 3.1 controller. Um, and if in that case, uh, you can only flash NGFW for international or VLT for German uh, people. If you have 11 slash 2021, like I do, uh, you can check with down G the UUID, see if it contains FF. Um, if it does not, then your control is 3.1. If it does, then um, it's most likely 3.0. Um, best is to open up the scooter from the bottom. Uh, 10 slash 2021 and older, um, they're perfectly fine and you should be able to flash no problem. Me 3 and 1S do have 3.1 controllers but at a newer production date so not necessarily 12 2021. It could be like April 4th 2022 production date, well, I'm not sure. But uh, best to open up the scooter to see uh, 3.1, uh, 3.0, uh, SCO driver 3.1 is bad so do not flash. Uh, only use NGFW or VLT. Uh, M365, M365 Pro and Essential do not have the 3.1 controllers, so you do not need to check um, as you'll be compatible anyway as of right now. Now let's make our custom firmware. Once you've confirmed that you have a 3.0 controller, uh, the Lite and the M365 and the M365 Pro scooters do not have the 3.1 controller yet as of... Um, August 8th or August yeah um once you get onto me.cfw.sh uh you're gonna be pop up with this disclaimer if you wanna read it so like the laws may be a bit different for your country but you just wanna hit the continue um we're gonna go on to basics and here you can select a bunch of stuff so remove charging mode or remove the charging mode of your scooter. I forgot to mention, remove charging mode removes, um, you can ride it whilst you're charging. So it's still charge, but you can ride it whilst you're charging the scooter. Any scooter except the Mi 3, if you have BLA 157, then you need to either ST-Link, uh, swap heads, if your friend has it like another scooter with older BLA, or, um, um buy a clone dashboard it'll be bla 9.1.0 but that is completely fine um please stop using the xiaomi uh home app uh, in order not to be restricted in the future of uh hacking your scooters uh for me three scooters bla 155 uh you'll need to sd link or buy a clone dashboard or swap the heads as i said if your friend has an old a scooter with an older bla um, version spoofing will spoof your DRV and be compatible for newer Mi scooter models. Uh, it will fix errors like error 42 for the Mi 3 and it will properly display the lock uh, icon. Unlike if you lock it, the display like doesn't turn off, it just um, shows it still shows the lock, but it won't show like it will still show the display and everything. So you, I'm going to select the compatible because I really want the lock thing to work properly. But it, it still works even if you don't select it. Um, and I have a Pro 2 of course. Uh, the power and speed. Uh, I like to set the sports at 30 amps. If it's a bit too hot, you might want to reduce. But uh, I think it should be fine. Drive, I'm going to use this as like a sports. An eco or echo, uh, I'm gonna set it to 18 amps. Uh, the current limit, I'm gonna leave this uh, as it is, but you can change it. Max speed, I'm gonna set the sports to 65, the drive to 25, and eco to 15. Uh, direct power control. Uh, if you want, so what this means basically is um, if you have it on always on, um, so right here, 
so if you have this to always on um what this means is that when you apply half of the pedal so you let's say i press the pedal halfway um instead of aiming for the speed so the max speed which if it would be on always off um if i press it halfway the maximum so it's going to aim for half of the maximum speed so let's say i'm on drive uh, i press it halfway it'll aim for 12.5 kilometers an hour um that's with always off so but if you have always on uh, it will aim for the amps instead so i've set let's say 25 amps on drive um and i'm going and i'm pressing the pedal halfway um it will do half of the amps so 12.5 amps will be the max so i don't know i prefer to always off i don't really like it and the curve type uh, if you have it on quadratic quadratic um um you it's like an algorithm um where it would just have like this kind of curve algorithm but if you have it on flat it's just gonna be a flat algorithm and i guess i don't know some people say quadratic feels better um and some people just i don't know pers personal preference uh, i like it always off and flat but people choose what they want it to be anyways the coefficient is like how fast the current is applied when you're pressing the throttle um, so if you set this to 400, uh, it's not aggressive, it's, I mean, it's what I like, but if you set it to 600, uh, maybe even 800, or 700, or whatever, in somewhere, um, it's like more aggressive and it starts maybe quicker, I guess, so, I mean, you can test it out and see how you like it, but I like it on 400. Uh, the start speed, I like it on 1. Uh, if you set it to 0, it's just like you ever need to slightly push it. It's like 0.1 kilometers an hour you have to, so before it starts. But I like to leave it on 1. Um, the braking, uh, I'm going to leave these on default. Uh, I don't really have to change anything, but what this does, uh, the maximum current, so maximum phase current will only allow... Uh, up to 30 amps and the minimum will be 8 amps no curse which is the uh, regenerative braking uh, when you let go of the motor the throttle and the mo motor is not, not stopping uh, instead of the electrical brake stopping you it will be not stopping you at all and you'll just keep going of course you won't regain any power unlike with curves but i guess some people like like it but i'm gonna leave this off the other current raising coefficient is the brake um so i like it on 500 so i think it applies to electrical brake i'm not quite sure but uh i think that's the current for the brake yeah Brake light mode, I just like it on default, but you can do static, reversed, or strobe. Um, again, yeah, I guess you can choose which one you like, but I like it on default. The frequency, um, so it's, I think it's like uh, how fast it flashes. So, yeah, yeah, I think so. But, yeah, I don't know, I just leave it on default. Uh, no brake light left. No brake light flash on throttle release. So if you're like in the Netherlands, I'm pretty sure. Uh, people people are not allowed to have a f flashing brake light. Uh, apparently it's only for emergency stuff like police, ambulance. So I don't know why they don't allow that. But I mean, well, I guess it's just a scooter. So yeah, so... You might want to disable it, or you might want it because you hate it. But I like it, so I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to select it. Cruise control delay. Uh, it's like how long it takes for you to get into cruise control. So I like on three seconds, but that's your own choice. And the cruise control beep. Um, 
if you want to not have the beep when the cruise control is activated uh, you can select this but I don't I like it when it's um, beep so I know when it's in cruise control uh, when the so if you lock your scooter and if you select this it will never never um, shut down if even if it's locked I do not recommend because I did this once I was lucky to have Kami BLA uh, installed which I'll be showing you how to install that later um, if you do select this and your scooter is locked and you can't like unlock it you you are gonna have to open up the scooter from the bottom and disconnect the battery connecting with the controller and stuff so I prefer to leave this off because it's still gonna be locked for three hours before it shuts down but I mean who's gonna leave their scooter alone for three hours okay um if you have a m365 or you have an m365 display on your other scoot i guess i don't know why you'd really have that but whatever then you might want to select this um but if you have a pro dashboard uh don't select it um next if you have a i mean with the third one the boundary um select this if you know what you're doing um, wheel size, if you do have a different wheel, then, well, okay, let's say a bigger wheel, you change the wheel, and it's bigger, you have to, well, of course, you change this, and if you have an external battery, or you have a, um, a worse battery, I guess, uh, you can set this as well, or if you have an external or custom, then you want to set it higher or lower, I mean, I don't know, your choice. And the BMS communication, again, select this if you know what you're doing. Other than that, do not select it. Because um, it could cause breaking. And now hit down G or any your favorite app and hit the download zip. I already have one on my Samsung because this will require Android device. Um, if you want to do it on iPhone, uh, I know pro2.cfw.sh works, but it's, it's a bit... It's a bit buggy i guess i mean it's not the best but um then you'd use scooter companion but of course um other than that use an android Ooh. welcome to the flashing part here we'll be flashing our scooter as you can see i've connected my scooter um i've also want to make sure that uh, if you want extra battery uh upgrade to bms141 um, and if you don't, uh, BMS128. If you do have um, a Pro 1, then BMS126 will give you full capacity. I'm not sure what other BMS, but I, all I know for the M365 Pro, BMS126 will give you max capacity. For Pro 2, it will be 141. Um, BLA is fine, it's less than 157, and uh, DRV, it's normal. But, yeah, so we're going to be flashing the scooter. You're going to want to hit open bin, as um, right now I'm doing on my device. I've already downloaded it and renamed it, so it might look a bit different. But as you can see, I've got my DRV, and if it gives you this warning, just click go yes. And because it's DRV 155, you can see your parameters that you've set, and um, after that, you just hit the flash button. So as you can see, we've completed the flash, um, everything worked successfully, of course, uh, we'll be testing it, but now um, yeah, we're going to test it and then I'm going to show you um, how you can install Kami BLA, so as you can see right now, starting it, here you go, uh, so as you can see, um, I get 32 kilometers an hour, but this is at 60%, at 100% with no load, I get 35 kilometers an hour uh, with my self driving. So I, uh, I get around 33, 34 kilometers an hour. Um, of course, depends on the weight, the uh, acceleration, how you, uh, how you're accelerating, I guess, um, and just overall the terrain and wind and stuff, as I said. Um, so it really does depend. 
As you can see, we flashed it successfully. Now we're going to be flashing Kami BLA. Links are in the description to install Kami BLA. Uh, you just want to hit the BLA 075 version 10, as you can see, and click the flash. We'll start flashing. And then Dave Once uh, Kami BLA finishes flashing, you might have a 10 with a little wrench at the bottom, that's completely normal. Bluetooth will deactivate after 20 seconds. Uh, you, and if you want to reactivate, you have to f press the throttle and brake. Uh, make sure you have connected with Bluetooth at the start though. And there you go. So as you can see, Kami BLA is now active. Um, it will show your battery percentage at first. So yeah, now, throttle and brake sensitivity, yeah, uh, change the front light always on, only enables front light. Digit dimming, whenever the lights are enabled, the digit will dim. Uh, digit color, you can change the color. Uh, mute scooter beeps, you'll mute any beeps made by the scooter. You can see the info while standing, it will always be battery percentage. Um, so if you have one, then 10, one, uh, and then zero, zero, then it's 100%. As you can see, you can switch it as well. Uh, so right now I selected it to throttle and whenever I press the throttle uh, it will switch between the temperatures and uh, the minute it's on and controller battery, um, uh, controller I mean temperature and there you go. So it will always be um, battery percentage while s standing I guess. I like it on um, battery percentage while standing and then speed whilst I'm driving. Um, and advanced config you can see my model's correct so don't don't select the 10 inch because you already did that in cfw disable display will disable your display and the throttle enable will enable the throttle so you can move and that's it thank you guys for watching